Hi, I'm Jamie Genevieve and I am about to show you my ultimate no makeup makeup that I am creating exclusively for Cosmopolitan UK. Okay, moisturiser and SPF, it's a must. Where is my moisturiser? <laughs> We're going to start off with some Bobbi Brown face base. It is a one and done product. It is a moisturiser and also a really great primer. I've used this for years, I really like it. It might be winter, but we all need SPF still. So I'm gonna use the Shiseido Clear Stick UV Protector. And I just literally draw on my face. So easy, and it's really stood the test of time for me underneath any makeup. Reminds me of a real on deodorant a little bit, in the best way. Protected, moisturized, hydrated, all the good stuff. Okay, this is a no makeup makeup, so one of my favourite bases is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade 3. I love using this product, it gives my skin this glow and it really subtly evens out my skin as well. But you can't really tell that you've got anything on. Right, don't I just look well rested? I'm going to add a little bit of coverage with my NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm just going to add a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes, cover any blemishes. And I like to add a little bit of coverage just right in the centre of my face as well. You can pat this out with your fingers, but I'm actually going to use the same brush that we used for our flawless filter, just to pat that out. Do you know what I like about no makeup makeup? It takes hardly any time at all. I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Nudies in the shade Terracotta Tan. And I'm going to draw that straight onto my face and you only need a little bit of this. Even though we're going for a natural look, I still love a little bit of bronzer. Still love to look nice and sun kissed, even in November. Okay, and same brush again, honestly. It's the best. And we're just going to buff that in. And I think that because we used this for our base and then our concealer, all the kind of products just merge together anyway, so why not? Why not let them merge together on your brush? Giving that a buff in. And a great little tip to look naturally sun-kissed is to actually apply a little touch just on your nose. It's cute, right? I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I really like this. You can see it's nearly done. And I'm just gonna tap this powder where I need it. Just anywhere where looking dewy kind of starts looking a bit oily, so usually that's my chin for me. T-zone, size of my nose. Two of my favourite brow products for natural makeup looks are the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and then going on top with the Gimme Brow Plus. Chuck this through my eyebrows, super easy. And this brow gel, once it's set, that is it. Your brows will not be going anywhere. And something that I really like to do is just get my finger and just push these front hairs down. It gives almost like a laminated brow effect without the commitment, you can just wash it off at the end of the day. And then while my brows are starting to get a little bit tacky, they're drying down, I'm gonna go straight in with the Gimme Brow. I like to use a shade that's a wee bit deeper than my hair colour. I love a dark brow with a little bit of a blonde hair, I don't know why, I've always been obsessed with it. There's something quite 90s supermodel about that look that I just wanna live. I'm gonna show you a really quick way to get a gorgeous eye makeup that is still your no makeup makeup, but it's a little something. So I'm gonna grab my concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and just put a couple of dots on my lid. I'm gonna pat that out. You can just do this with your finger, if you so please, or you can use a brush or a beauty blender. I love using a concealer as an eyeshadow base. I think it just ties into the rest of the skin really nicely. Now I'm gonna go in with the Vive Essential Palette. This is my pride and joy. I am so excited to use this in today's video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the shade Buff here, which is just the most gorgeous transition shade ever. It's absolutely beautiful and on a big brush, pretty much blends itself. It is so easy, but this is gonna create a beautiful contoured eye. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat that in the outer corner as well. It is a soft matte formula, so it's gonna last. And because of the kind of slight orange undertone, it really is amazing for making eyes pop. Even when I'm not wearing too much makeup, I do love to still do a kind of slight wing. So what I'm gonna do is use an angle brush and the shade Lava Rock here, which is this gorgeous cool tone dark brown. And I'm gonna dip in with my angle brush. And I'm just stamping this along the lash line on the outer corner and slightly winging that out. But because we're using a brown instead of a black, it looks really soft. And rather than drawing on a kind of dark wing, which I still love, this is just gonna make her lashes look thicker and her eyes a little bit more pulled up and almond shaped. 
Something that's great about using eyeshadow for a winged liner as well is it's so easy to just rub it away if you make any mistakes. I really love creating wings with eyeshadow because it just looks so soft. Just to mattify the lid, I'm going to go in with a wash of So Shy, which is this gorgeous bone colour. And that is just going to mattify any kind of creamy textures on the lid, which in turn will help the eye makeup last all day. I don't know about you, but when I'm wearing not much makeup, I still love my lashes to look nice and thick and long. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara, and I'm just gonna take my time to get really nice separation and build up the thickness of my lashes. And I'm gonna add some of this to my lower lashes as well. I just think this helps my eyes look nice and big and open and awake. Okay, so for the skin, I made a little bit of glow. For me, highlight is, is the jewellery of the face. And even when I'm not wearing much makeup, I still wear all my jewellery. So this is the Nova Glow Highlighter by Dave. And I'm going to use the shade Holy Chic, which is a really gorgeous peachy tone. And you can absolutely go in with a brush, but I actually really love using my fingers as well. They have a really unique gel-like texture, which basically makes them just look flawless on the skin. And if I show you me patting this on with my finger, it just melts into the skin. And especially on a natural dewy base like this, it just looks absolutely flawless with that. One of my favourite things about Nova Glow Highlight is the fact it doesn't have a cast and by that I mean when I am facing you, you can't see that I've got it on but when I turn my face, bam, gorgeous and glowy and you can use as little or as much of this as you like. I love using it on my shoulders, down the centre of your legs and I love to use a little touch on my cupid's bow and just down the centre of my nose. Fresh, it's exciting, it's new, it's fabulous. For my lips, I want to keep my lips nice and hydrated. It's cold outside, my lips are feeling a little touch dry. So I'm gonna use a lip mask. This is the Laniage Lip Sleeping Mask and it's the flavour apple lime. It's the scent apple lime, don't eat it. I'm gonna put a tiny touch of this on my lips. And an absolute essential to me every single day is lip liner. So I'm going to use the Modern Lip Definer by Vive. I'm going to use the shade Bark. It is a gorgeous chocolate brown. It is so perfect for creating really 90s lips with a really pale nude. The texture of these is super creamy. It's amazing for pushing out the lip line and recreating your lip shape. Very long wearing and they're also super blendable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck this on on top of my lip balm and I'm gonna do it first before my lipstick. So I'm just sketching around my lip. For my lipstick, I'm gonna use the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Coming In Hot. This is a stunning 90s kind of deep peach nude. And I'm gonna chuck this on top of my lip balm. And these have a really beautiful matte texture, but it is creamy. It's still creamy, that was really important for me. A fab trick that I absolutely love to tie in my makeup look is I'm gonna get my lipstick and I'm gonna draw my lipstick on to this part of my hand. I call it the chubby part. Chubby part underneath my thumb. These are the beauty blenders that you were born with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub my hands together so we've got a little bit of product on both palms and I'm just gonna tap that onto my cheek and that is gonna be your blush. And it's such an easy way to tie in your makeup. I've got a little freckle here underneath my eye that I like to accentuate. So I'm gonna go in with my angled brush in the same shade Lava Rock that we used for our liner. And I'm just gonna tap it over my little freckle. Ta -da. <laughs> when I was creating these products, it was so important to me that they were really versatile. I am a huge beauty enthusiast, but I'm also a makeup artist. It was important that anyone would be able to use these from people that just want everyday beautiful makeup looks like this one to makeup artists that want to get really experimental with their makeup looks. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure that you subscribe to Cosmopolitan UK for more videos like this. Bye.